Well, it was a whole thing. We started Mad Dog Radio, and that kind of melded into between the Dog Star and the uh, Mad Dog. We kind of decided 15 years ago to name it Brushwood yeah. Radio, and it's been Brushwood Radio for the last 15 years. But of course, the radio's been along here for you know well over 20, 25 years. And how many people are you working with these days? How many people are staffing this thing? Right now, the DJs were very lucky. The last couple of years, we've had uh, over a dozen DJs volunteer, and it, it, it's a lot of fun because we get such a variety of music. A variety of personalities and voices, and it makes it a true community radio, which is what I strive to do. It is actually quite magical. Right now we have uh, the morning zoo on with Toad and Squirrel, true zoo people. And then, uh, so it's always different, it's always fun. And this year, for the first time, we're actually streaming, so you can get us online. And that was the thing I wanted to ask you about, this going streaming, man, that's... That's a big development. It is a big development. We've talked about it for the last several years and decided let's really, really dive into it. And we got uh, lucky. We found a way to actually get on the Internet with a system that they're pushing towards RVers. And that was uh, reasonably cost to get into it and reasonable to, to do it. And it, we have a very good signal. And we're just really, really happy. We were able to develop a couple of apps and... People are listening on their phones or devices. It's wonderful. Now, you've been part of Sirius Rising for a good long time now. Have you been with us since the beginning, or how long have you been? I've been coming been to Brushwood for, I think this is my 27th year, 28th oh, so, year. So you're practically as old as, your association with Brushwood is almost as long as the festival itself. It's been a long time, yeah. I remember the first time I came, it was pouring rain, and I was pulling a friend's uh, RV, and we went on the other side of this tree line over here, and got stuck in the mud because at the time nobody camped there so we decided well this is where we're staying and we made the best of it we had the most wonderful time and i just couldn't leave i stayed what keeps you coming back the people and the land is magical but mostly the people we know our friends are from all over the country and all over the world and I don't think we would have met such a variety of wonderful people if it hadn't been for this place, the Brushwood Folklore Center and Sirius Rising.